The Jacksonville school is moving to all online learning as administrators send students home to prevent a potential outbreak from growing larger. Providence School, which is a private school, is the third school in Duval County in just the past week to move online due to COVID-19 outbreaks. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Anthony Austin. And I'm Jeannie Blaylock. This announcement comes as Governor Ron DeSantis visited a charter school in Jacksonville today with a very different message about closing schools over COVID. On your side, Kaylee Tracy brings us what he said and parents' reactions. In my head, it just went wah, 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 but... <laughs> At the same time, I kind of I understand what they're trying to do. That's Gabby Valerio, a senior at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts, and that's her reaction to learning her school will learn virtually through October 29th due to a COVID-19 outbreak. Nine students tested positive and two teachers. An outbreak Duval County Public School officials say they think is tied to an off-campus event. Going forward, whatever the future may hold, uh, school closures should be off the table. The school district's announcement about Douglas Anderson came shortly after Governor Ron DeSantis visited a charter school in Jacksonville talking about COVID-19 and schools. Gabby's mom says she thinks DCPS made the right call for right now. I'm happy that they're taking more precautions. Um, at the same time, it, it's kind of um, a back and forth because I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they can get back to normal. Students at Fletcher High School are also learning virtually. They're learning virtually through October 28th. There, 39 students are positive and four teachers in outbreak due to an off-campus party during homecoming, DCPS officials say. The district's threshold to close a school is if an outbreak impacts or has the potential to impact 20% of the school, which it has at both Fletcher and Douglas Anderson. Schools are not drivers of spreading coronavirus. Uh, and schools need to be open. Uh, it is a bad public health policy uh, to have schools closed. When asked about DCPS's closures, DeSantis said he was unaware of them. I don't know, like on these individual schools, how they're doing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the facts on, on all that. You know, you're coming here to talk in Jacksonville about this going on, and in Jacksonville, we have school closures happening. So um, that was a little shocking. A spokesperson with DCPS said they didn't find out DeSantis was in town until they saw it on the news. Regarding the governor's statements about closing schools, the spokesperson said, quote, we follow all of the protocols that we have to follow with a respect to reporting the cases that we have and the actions that we take through the Department of Education. He also sent me the CDC's guidelines and highlighted the specific protocols DCPS uses. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. And parents, you can always keep an eye on the number of cases in your child's school with the district's own COVID tracking dashboard. You can find it under the announcements section of the district's main website.